all this started, I got a phone call from John Maddox. Uh, he told me that the University of Kentucky was having an unveiling for a no-till planter at the Princeton Research Farm where they're doing some work on a no-till facility and that uh, they had found a planter that was really close or really similar to the first planter that Mr. Young used in Herndon, Kentucky to uh, start no-till farming with. And he asked me if our FFA chapter would be interested in uh, doing a restoration project on that planter for the University of Kentucky. Harry Young wanted a bigger planter than just what he had. Yeah. And he had a single row he was trying to plant no-till with. So Harry Young got with Dad, and he said, you talk to Alice. If they will make me a no-till planter, I will buy it immediately. And so Alice went to work on the 333 frame, and then they already had single units. So it was my planter, and it was in the tool shed. We got it to buy, it's either 67 or 68. So the students through this project, they're going to learn problem solving skills such as how do pieces of this equipment come apart? How do they go back together? They're going to learn how to prep metal. They're gonna learn how to properly paint. They're gonna learn how to uh, put things together that maybe have been pieced together over the years. How do we make it work in the long run? So basically this is one big jigsaw puzzle or one large problem solving uh, skill that the students are gonna be working on. Today I had to take out some bolts that uh, some people I know broke off and I had to tap through there and take a pair of channel locks and take them out. I just want to put on record that that bolt was not my fault. <laughs> Hopefully tomorrow we'll have everything ready to go to start priming and then we will take the seed boxes and paint them white and then the rest of it will be orange, getting it ready to go like it's original colors. Once the paint dried, the group loaded the revived planter for the trip to Princeton. UK's Scott Peake directed the unloading and setup at the new Grain and Forge Center in time for the ribbon cutting. Two, three. All right. Dr. Chad Lee, the center's director. Our FFA educator, Ben Previtt, if I, I have not seen Ben yet, but Ben and the Hopkins County FFA crew did the actual restoration of the planter. So, so we had several different people involved in that process, and I think they did a fine job with it. You know, it's somewhat interesting, we're going to talk about state-of-the-art agriculture and the latest developments, and at the same time, we are recognizing an implement that's now a few years old, uh, Commissioner Quarles, but represented innovation in this area and uh, represented innovation at that time. The resurrected planter attracted a lot of attention, helping to make the opening a huge success. Thanks to all who made this preservation of an early model Alice Chalmers planter, a vintage example of no-till's beginnings and a visual reminder of how far we've come. You know, the restoration of the corn planter started 18 months ago with an off-the-cuff joke about how nice it would be to have a restored no-till planter here. And I too just want to say a personal thank you and also to Hopkins County FFA for a wonderful restoration job. How about a round of applause for what those kids did in the shop. <laughs>